Hello and welcome back. So <laughs> it's another failure but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the sweet corn and the pole runner beans um, and then I'll cover yet another failure. Right so what I've got is I've got plenty of sweet corn. Um, it definitely needs potting up now and they're going to go into these 11 litre uh, square tubs. Now I did them in these last year and they worked really well. But what I have also got is I've got all these supposed to be dwarf runner beans. So I'm going to plant these in as well. <laughs> I know that's too much um, because they are in containers. Uh, so but I thought, well no, give us a go. Because I've got loads of these at the moment. And where they were going to go and the broad bean beds, the broad beans aren't finished yet. So I can always sow more of these. And again, like I said, they're supposed to be dwarf. But like you saw in my last video, <laughs> they're not, some of them aren't dwarf or they are actually uh, starting to become more like a runner bean. So this really is one of those that don't follow me. I'm just going to see how it goes. This is not how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> Certainly not in containers this small. But we'll see how they go. So there we go, they're all uh, watered in now. And what we've got is we've got the purple queen on this left hand side and the sprite on the right hand side. And what I will do is I'll put a thin layer of the, the mini bark which I've sieved and I've used it as a mulch, top mulch for the pots and containers. I've just run out at the moment but I will be replacing more of the the, the paths and that's what I do is just sieve it. So I'm really pleased with those. Let's see how they go. It could become more of a jungle but that's probably the theme <laughs> of this garden. And that is a mini sisters really. Three sisters because we've got the sweet corn. Hopefully these are going to be dwarf runner beans and then we've got over here is a hunter butternut squash so hopefully that will wind itself around and not too cause too much of a jungle but we'll see how they go right so it's off to the top um, climbing bed now which I've uh, cleared out and we've got the abundance uh, pole beans to go in and also the lazy housewife I'm dropping them everywhere now, aren't I? <laughs> so I finally cleared out this bed and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie back those small uh, fox gloves so they're, they're not encroaching on the bed. So on the far side will go these and these are the Abundance which is supposed to be an early pole bean. And then on this side I'm going to have the Lazy Housewife which as you can see they're not really got going yet. Now not all my abundance did actually germinate as you can see. There's quite a few that haven't. So what I did is I put them into a wet paper kitchen towel and put them in a plastic bag. And they've started to germinate only after about three or four days. And that was recommended to me in the comments by Nick the Gardener. So cheers for that Nick, it's, it's worked. And it, if I haven't, if they all, don't all germinate, I'll just keep on going until I've got the whole side done. Right, so because once they start to get going, as you can see, these are just flying now. Right, I'll uh, plant it all up and then bring you back. Right, that's the pole beans planted up. I will tie back those foxgloves and hopefully have more um, abundance to, to go in there. Right, to keep on a positive note, because <laughs> it will go downhill after this, is I'm going to be harvesting some chard, which I'll do later on, because we have a stir fry tonight. And uh, another one of these, kohlrabi. And this is the second one that uh, we've harvested in the last couple of days. So, There we go. And 
and there we go nice kohlrabi so I'll do a bit more of a harvest now um, going around harvesting and I'll show you a few clips of the harvest that we've had so far this week right so these are the, the last of the white icicles and we've been really enjoying these in the stir fries uh, so I will be growing these again right and you can see some of the onions have got uh, the, the curly leaves so I think they could have uh, some allium leaf miner I have taken out a few of them already because they had started to rot uh, away so we'll see how we go with those the rest of them at the moment are looking all right and they are bulbing up well anyway staying positive these are looking these are looking nice <laughs> right and what I'll do after this is I will stir so another row of carrots here and another row of carrots there as well where I, take, I took out the rest of the radishes yesterday and it's the courgettes next we are picking them quite small at the moment uh, just to try and keep in control of them So, the failures, <laughs> and the failures this week have been that the pumpkin seeds, the crown prince and the jack B. little didn't germinate, um, so I'm left with spaces now. I've got five tubs filled, um, four were for the crown prince and one was for the uh, outdoor tomato. So I've got those to fill and we were going to have this full with the Jack B. Little. So what I think I'm going to do now is I'm looking at maybe the Alderman P going up the front, the Qatar uh, runner bean or pole bean going up the back and with what runner beans I've got left from these these dwarf beans that I sowed a couple of weeks back will go down the sides. So I know uh, the alliums and the beans and the peas they just uh, they're not supposed to grow them side by side. And that's due to the two different bacteria that both their roots uh, produce. But Ali at uh, my rusty garden she did a uh, plant up. Uh, with them just to see how they went and they were fine so what I'm going to do is with the peas I'm going to sow them into uh, pots first so they got a good start and it's also going to be the same with the uh, beans at the back and the runner beans or these dwarf runner beans are already in uh, modules uh, so there won't be any direct sowing just to give the roots a chance to uh, get started and these onions at the moment, they've only got a month anyway or so to go. So they'll soon be coming out. And with bacteria in the soil, that usually only lasts for about a day. It's only got a lifespan of a day. So hopefully, <laughs> I'm hoping everything works out. But that's my idea for that at the moment. Um, where I've used up all these runner beans that we're going to go where the broad beans are, I'm going to look at dwarf uh, blotty beans there and like I said there's going to be carrots going there and I will be planting beetroots which I've already got going there so for these five tubs I've now got I've still got more uh, spare tomato plants so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant up the spare tomato plants in here and uh, say the tomato at the back and then around the front, I'll probably do some coriander seeds, so hopefully that can just um, trail over. So I'll get onto that now, because like I say, I've got five of them, and the tomato plants in the greenhouse at the moment, they're just struggling. They're the ones that haven't been planted up yet. And I forgot, while we're on failure, <laughs> I got blossom end rot on quite a lot of the Krushovka early tomatoes. 
and that's my own fault. I think it was either I watered them too much or they just got stressed with the, the heat at the moment. It's been a bit of a difficult one trying to get the right amount of water in so they don't end up like this. So I've fed them now and uh, hopefully that'll sort them out. But yeah, <laughs> it's another failure, but this heat is challenging at the moment. Right, so they weren't in the best condition. They were just the spares. But on this, this first one, we've got a San Marino. Then a Harry's Plum. Cherry Chadwick. Another San Marino. And then the Shirley Pixie with the two German tumbling ones, which really aren't in the best condition. But this one's got flowers on. And the Shirley Pixie's got quite a few flowers on it as well already. So we'll see how they go. Right, so stay on the positive. That was not a bad harvest. As you can see behind me, I'll be get, picking more uh, sweet peas. We're okay with the colours now. Uh, this dark purple one isn't as prolific as the, the rest are so, but I have uh, ordered a new set of seeds uh, for next year. And yes, the, this we, we are starting to get a little bit from the garden now. We had the potatoes, this is second car Arby. The courgettes, <laughs> I'm just picking them as small as they can, just to try and keep control of them at the moment. And these white icicle being nice and the stir fries as well. So that's, that's what all this is going into uh, tonight. And then a whole load of uh, chard. So as you can see, I sort of had to rejig everything. Um, the dwarf beans that were going to go into the uh, broad beans, they've now gone into the sweet corn because they're too early. Um, and like I say, I will get some Belossi dwarf beans to go along there. And also, I've had to rejig where the Jackby Little pumpkins were going to go with the Alderman peas and the, the Kazar beans. I mean, if you've got any other suggestions that I can quickly get hold of the seed and try and germinate to, to fill in those gaps, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but at the moment, that's what well, I'm going to get those uh, seeds just to at least have them and give them a go at the moment. And thankfully, I, I had the, the last dregs of me spares for the tomatoes to again fill in the gaps where I was going to have the crown prince. So the three uh, cooking plum tomatoes there, um, again with one of them being the Harry, so hopefully if it does get to the six inches, that'd be nice just to go and uh, pick. And then we've got the Cherry Chadwick and the uh, Shirley Pixie. So again, we've still got some more smaller tomatoes to, to get from that. And fingers crossed, then I can have the on the outside the coriander, because um, at the moment, I've had it in that bed and it's just not worked this year with the delphinium in, in front of it. So that's me, <laughs> that's me waffling again. Right, so if you're still watching, thank you. And like I always say, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again.